One of the world's most beloved gurus, I heard say that your story, your past, you just kind of do away with it. And you make a decision on who you're going to become and then you just become that person and you forget about your past. But the truth of the matter is that I think that's so stupid. Just the fact that there's an idea out there that you can take pieces of your story and just forget about it, that's dumb. It's like, stay with me for a moment as you think about this. I just, I can't cut off my arm, right? I can't cut off my leg. I can't just cut off that limb and then I forget about it. Your story is like a limb. It's like a part of you. And if you try to cut it off and just get rid of it and you move forward from this point on, yes, you create a new narrative, but the weight, the pain, the trauma, the thoughts, the ideas, the identity, all of these things that come with the actual things that happen to us, they're in our fibers. They're inside of you. Like you're not just going to get rid of it. It's not just going to go away. I hate that idea of when I hear some of my peers teach this concept that I think is just ridiculous around uh, let's forget our story. Let's forget our past. Don't forget your past. Don't let it cripple you. Um, don't let it derail you, but when it cripples you and it derails you, it's because you haven't owned it. Once you own your story, the good, the bad, and the ugly, it's not that it becomes easier to bear. It's just, it's, it's part of you. You, you marry who you want to be with who you are and you allow them to become up with a beautiful blend of teaching, becoming the expert and standing front and center in your life and everything you want. So I just want to say this three things. So number one, Anybody who tells you that you need to forget your past and do away with it, um, they have no clue how to get to the next, how to truly get to the next level here. They may know how to make a little bit of dollars, but they don't know how to make cash and they definitely don't understand this type of wealth. Number two, anybody who, any guru makes who says, oh, no, no, don't tell that part, leave that part out. They don't know three flying flips of what they're talking about. That's some of the stupidest coaching and advice I've ever heard. No, 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 don't tell that part. No, 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 don't tell the truth. Curate the truth. Let's manufacture this thing. That is the worst way to build a business, the worst way ever to get to the next level financially, the worst way ever for me to heal. And I think that's it. Like at the end of the day, if you can heal, then you really have a strong dot, dot, dot. Whether it's friendship, business, marriage, relationship, like with your children, with yourself, like it doesn't matter. Like that's when you really have like, like true wealth money. The third thing that I um, want to make sure you know is that your story makes you strong. It doesn't make you weak. Your vulnerability makes you strong. It doesn't make you weak. Your vulnerability makes you clear. It doesn't make you weak. And clarity is like the number one most delicious thing that you could possibly ever have in the market. The end. Somewhere here is some type of a link for us to talk further with you. One, to help you tell your story. Two, to help you show you how to use your story. Three, to show you how to use your story to scale, build, hire, close your opportunities, build a brand, um, and more importantly, build the movement that you were meant to make. And there's no one better in the market to help you do that. The end.